Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to... Now, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can turn off HDR. So, you can go to game graphics settings and over here, if HDR is on, you can turn this off and then relaunch the game. Also, you can press Alt plus Enter to switch to window mode, turn off HDR and lower down video settings. Now, the next step is to allow the game EXE file to your antivirus program. If you are using Windows Security, open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security, Windows Security, click on Virus and Threat Protection, scroll down. At the bottom, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow. Click on Add an Allowed App Browser Labs. Go to the Game Installation Folder. In my case, the game is installed in this location. So, you can open the game folder over here. And then select the game exe file and then to open add all the exe file over here so add the game exe file and if you find the game exe file over here it's not here so add the game exe file over here and then type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open and then add in my case the game is already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to now if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder make a right click manage and then now before you do this uh, go to manage dlc over here and make sure black ops 7 is selected over here only the Black Ops 7, uh, seven. Uh, rest you can uncheck it. Like if you have Warzone, you can uncheck it. So in my case, I have put a check on only Black Ops 7. Similarly, if you have the game on uh, Battle.net, you can click on Game Settings and then you can click on Modify Install and make sure uh, you select only Black Ops 7 and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Now. To run the game as an ad uh, from the game installation folder, make a right click manage browse local files and then go to the game installation folder and then you can launch the game from here. So make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work, make a right click go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game, still not working. This time you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename or delete the activision folder in local app data now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder then open local folder now find activision folder here you can see activision folder make a right click and you can rename this folder now you can relaunch the game and then check Or you can even delete these fold this folder and then relaunch the game. Still not working. Now for few players disabling S XMP profiling system BIOS has worked. So uh, if your BIOS has this XMP profile, you can disable it, then relaunch the game. And once you're done playing the game, you can always enable XMP profile. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on it run this exe file click on repair if you see the repair option if you see the install option hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair or if you see install click on install 
and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart the computer. And after the system restarting, you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. For the Steam users, make a right click on the game. Select properties. In the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. And then you can close this, launch the game, and then check if that does not work. You can type in dash D3 D11 over here. Launch the game and then check still not working. Type in dash DX12. Launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Now, if you have the game on battle.net, you can click on mod. Uh, sorry, game settings, and then additional command line arguments over here. You can type in dash B3 D11, and then you can now click on done. Launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX11. Then click on done. Launch the game and then check. You can if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12 over here. Click on done, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this, done. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card, your operating system, click on fine. Now on this page, whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, you can click on view and then you can click on download. And then you can run this exe file. Run this exe file, click on yes to allow, click on OK and then click on agree and continue, select custom option, then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. After the clean installation is done, restart your computer and then check. Now AMD card users, go to AMD website, select your graphic card, make sure that you select your graphic card. I don't have AMD graphic, in graphic card, this is just an example. Select your graphic card, your operating system. And whichever is the latest graphic card driver, you can click on download and then uh, run it, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Still not working, run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings. Click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder and then wherever the game is installed, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can click on the game, select high performance and then you can launch the game and then check. If you have the game on, uh, on like from battle.net, you can select the game exe file and then you can add the game over here and then select high performance and then launch the game. Desktop users, make sure that you connect your SDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Now the next step is to try launching game from NVIDIA app. So NVIDIA card users launch NVIDIA app and you will see the game over here. I don't know why you're showing Black Ops 6, but it should be Black Ops 7. Now once you select the game, now scroll down uh, go to global settings if the smooth motion is like on you can turn it off go to program settings select black ops 7 and over here you can try to launch the game from here so if you see the play button over here click on play and then check now you can also uh, like optimize so you can select black ops 7 and then if you see the optimize option over here um, I, in my case, I don't see optimize, so I'll show you a different uh, application. So once you select Black Ops 7, if you see optimize, hit optimize, and then you can launch the game from here and then check. Now, if it is already optimized, you can revert the optimization and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to settings, turn off this NVIDIA overlay and then close NVIDIA app. Try debug mode. Now for this, you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option. Click on NVIDIA control panel. And then you can go to help and then put a check on debug mode. So if this is unchecked, put a check over here. Once you have a check on debug mode, now relaunch the game. Still not working. Restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, you can click on manage 3D settings, global settings, restore, click on yes. And then at the bottom right, you hit apply over here. And then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to set uh, try power saver mode. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel, hardware and sound, power options. In my case, I have only balanced, but in your case, if you see a uh, power saver option like this, you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. If it is already uh, like set to power saver, you can try even balance or high performance 
but first of all try power saver and then check if that does not work enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box look in graphics settings go to advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then you can relaunch the game and then check if it is already on turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable integrated graphic card so make a active the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here now if your computer has a dual graphic card like in my case i have integrated intel graphic card you can disable the integrated one make a right click and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game if you face any problem or once you are done playing the game you can enable the device once again next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working after you select your uh, graphic card your operating system uh, on this page you can scroll down and then click on view more versions maybe you can try the older graphic card driver view it download it and then when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once that is done restart your computer and then you can check similarly if you have the game uh, if you have like amd graphic card then you can go to amd website select your graphic card after you select it click on previous version select your operating system you can try maybe this one or this one you can download it install it restart your computer and then check next step is to install directx now for this you can go to this microsoft website the link is provided in the video description click on download and then run this exe file click on yes to allow accept next uncheck install bing bar over here and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete finish click on finish and then restart your computer and then check still not working increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now still not working update windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working lower down monitor refresh rate for example if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz and then check run steam or battle.net as an administrator so type in steam in the windows search box make a right click on steam first of all you have to close steam close steam and then type in steam over here and then make a right click on steam and then run as administrator and then check 
Similarly, battle.net, you can exit battle.net and then you can type in battle.net, make a right click and then run as administrator and then check. Next step is to verify or repair the game files. Now, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. If you have the battle uh, game on battle.net, click over here, click on scan and repair and then launch the game. Next step is to uncheck compatibility from Steam and the game exe file. So first of all, close Steam. If the Steam is open, close Steam, exit, and then type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam and then go to open file location. Make a right click on Steam. And then go to properties and then go to this tab and then uncheck. If this is checked, you can uncheck this box. Hit apply, click on OK, and then open Steam once again and then launch the game. Similarly, if you have the uh, battle.net, you have to close battle.net. Exit and then type in battle.net, make a right click, open file location, make a right click, properties, go to this tab. If this is checked, you can uncheck this box and then hit apply, click on OK. You have to launch battle.net once again and then check. Do the same thing with the game exe file, manage browse local files and then select the game exe file, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab. If this is unchecked, you can uncheck this box, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Next step is to when you launch the game, if you receive a prompt uh, to launch in safe mode. When the game crash, if you see a prompt to launch the game in safe mode, you can try safe mode. Let the shaders preloading be 100% complete. When you launch the game, at the top left, you will see uh, shaders preloading. Let them be 100% complete, then launch the game. Then continue playing the game. Disable or enable Steam overlay. For this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. If it is already off, you can turn it on. Close other overlay application like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. Nvidia app settings, turn off overlay. And close all kinds of overlay application. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close all overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner, revert tuner, or if you have any third party application running, close it. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. If you have any kind of external keyboard and mouse like key crown keyboard, razor huntsman keyboard or mouse, which you are not using, disconnect it. Unplug hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer. Close all third party application on your computer. If you're using VPN, turn it off. If you're not using, you can try both on and off and uh, you can if the VPN is not working, you can close the VPN, turn it off, close it, and then launch the game. If you have undervolted the computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Install media feature back. So to install, you can open Windows settings. If you have Windows N edition, this is only for if you are using Windows 10 N edition or Windows 11 N edition, then you can try this step. Now for this, open Windows settings, go to system, scroll down, you will find optional features, click on it, view feature, and then click on yes to allow. Type in media feature back over here. If I don't have Windows uh, N edition, I have Windows 11 Home edition. If you have N edition, you might see media feature back over here. Put a check on media feature back, click on next, install it, restart your computer and then check. You can even type in turn Windows feature, uh, Windows feature on or off and then click on turn Windows feature on and off and make sure media feature back. If, if this is unchecked, you can put a check and then install it, restart your computer and then check. Next step is to uh, update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game and then you reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game was installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. Try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.